Assassin's Creed is one of the most popular video game franchises ever created. They've had over 12 video games created for the Nintendo Wii, the Wii U, the PS3, Xbox 360, handheld systems, and PC. As of February 15, 2012, it has sold over 38 million copies. The Assassin's Creed games feature a protagonist named Desmond Miles, a bartender who is a descendant of several lines of prominent assassins. In Assassin's Creed 1, Desmond is captured by a corporation called Abstergo Industries, the modern-day face of the Knights Templar. He is forced to use a machine called the Animus that causes him to experience the memories of his ancestors. The memories Desmond experiences don't line up with the history he knew. Warren Vidic, a scientist who works for the Templars, explains why. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. Notice a direct attack on people who believe in the Word of God? He compares Bible believers to people who believe the moon landing was a hoax, or those who think the world is flat. He's mocking and ridiculing Christians. He also says the world was created in seven days. Was it? No! Scripture tells us about the six days of creation in Genesis 1, and Exodus confirms it in chapters 20, verse 11, where we read, For in six days the Lord made the heavens and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Can we trust what the Bible says in Genesis and Exodus? The Bible tells us in Psalms 119, verse 160, Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Now let's go back to the video game. In Desmond's memory, he experiences the life of Altair, an assassin. His leader, Mualim, is betraying him throughout the game, secretly using one of the pieces of Eden as a weapon. What is the piece of Eden? Well, at the end of the game, there is a final showdown between Altair and al Muhalim. Altair asks what the piece of Eden is. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? The Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. Notice what he calls the piece of Eden? The word of God. This weapon is used to brainwash people and control them. And it's called the Bible. The game implies that everything in the Bible that we think to be true is just a lie. That is why the game attacks the Old Testament saying the Red Sea was never parted and the New Testament saying water never turned to wine. The game goes even a step farther when it shows ancient pictures of Moses holding a piece of Eden and Jesus on the cross with a piece of Eden. The game implies that Jesus deceived his followers using this weapon. Does the Bible brainwash people? No, not at all. Romans 15.4 says, For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Don't ever think that we are just mindless Christians. God said to Isaiah, Come, let us reason together. And Paul told Timothy to study. A brainwashed person can't study, reason, and learn. A brainwashed person doesn't have the patience and comfort that the scripture gives and therefore they don't have the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. But Assassin's Creed would argue that God has no part in his word. In this scene from Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio battles with the Pope who offers a misguided view on the Bible. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. A book, mind you, written by men. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. 
Do you think I believe a single word of that ridiculous book? It's all lies and superstition, just like every other religious tract written over the past 10,000 years. An ancient book written by men? Lies and superstitions? The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Scripture is God breathed, written by God through man. We can trust it and trust all of it, not just parts of it. The world tries to make a mockery of God's word. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, they mock the account of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. So what does the world teach? What do they want you to believe? In a later level of Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio spends the entire time killing preachers and priests who have been deceived by the pieces of Eden. He's seen talking to the people of the city while in the background an evil preacher burns at the stake and he tells them the wisdom of the assassins. Silencio! Silencio! 22 years ago, I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Medici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose Whatever you think is true, that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else. Ezio is right when he says that we all have the right to choose. But he's wrong when he says that no book will give you the answer. The Bible alone gives the answer and it is the only book proven to be reliable and trustworthy. Fulfilled prophecy confirms the authenticity of the Bible being from God. And societies and cultures have proven the value of the truths, morals, and ethics that God's word teaches. Therefore, the Bible alone is worthy of being our final authority on all things. The Bible guides us to help us see right from wrong. Psalms 119.105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Every page of the Bible reveals Jesus to us. In John 5.39, Jesus told that the scriptures speak of him. And on the walk to Emmaus with two of his disciples, he explained the scriptures. Beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. We study God's word for guidance and to know Jesus. He's given us minds to reason and to learn. Let his word light your path and move your heart. For Jesus said in John 14, 23, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word.